home at university. I'm going to go for some of the I'm So Excited Energy Tea. Um, I've actually got three packs of this and one of them's in a box, so I'm going to use that one. But this was kindly sent to me by the Matcha Reserve. This tea is pretty much alongside the Vanilla Matcha and Pumpkin Pie by Bluebird, my favourite tea. I love this so much. It just gets me ready for the day. and. I think today's going to be a really exciting one, so I think this is the perfect tea to use. And I'm using this mug, which was kindly given to me by my headmistress. Okay, so I'm just getting my... Oh! Whoa, my hands are, I don't know why, they were so slippery. Um, so I'm getting my Glide student set up, which is basically the Wi-Fi. Um, so my broadband connection is now enabled, which is great, because it means that I can actually use the Wi-Fi. Um, and I've actually got a video to upload, so I'm gonna set that to upload. And basically, okay, so I've written up my timetable, not timetable, but a to-do list of things that I want to do today. So set up Wi-Fi was number one, and I've got that. Another thing which I need to do is I need to ask how the shower works because I tried to have a shower this morning and I couldn't. Um, I was, you know, trying the little knobs and it just wasn't working. So I'm gonna go down and ask about that. Okay, so basically last night there was a bit of fiasco, a bit of a fiasco with the orzo and we put it in this container because these were wet, da, da, da. but I just tried to pour it in and look at that, there is orzo everywhere. Okay, I'm just going to clear this up quickly. got a beautiful set of my favorite foods so this is the plan I'm going to just quickly wash up my plate because I haven't done that yet 
and then I am going to just update my New Yorker subscription because I need to send it here as opposed to at home. And then I'm gonna go outside and maybe head to the library. <laughs> There's no one really around at the moment. I'm just kind of exploring. I really hope I don't go anywhere I'm not allowed to. It's really beautiful here though. Look at that building. It's nearly 12 o'clock um, and I've just met two really lovely people called Laura and Tian. They look really nice. I don't know why there's no one else around here. Um, maybe that's a sign that I shouldn't be here either. So there's old library chaplaincy room. Okay, so I'm back in my room and I have just done some of my pin board, if you can see. So I definitely haven't finished it because there's still so much space left. Um, but I like the way that it looks so far. Um, I'm getting way more of these Polaroid prints up here. Um, but I haven't ordered them yet because um, I wanted to order them to my address here. Um, but I really like them. So we're currently just walking back to our accommodation and I'm here with Lily and Zara by the way, just Hi. to introduce them. <laughs> something about studios I just don't feel as though anyone's gonna come in um, I've had my door open as people have suggested that I do but um, to no avail no one's even glanced in I think they were right when they said that studios are quite isolated but I'm going to a curry evening this evening which would be quite nice um, that's at six and it's currently 22 but it's in my building so I don't really have to um, I don't have, I don't have to head over anywhere. Um, so I have made a few friends. I mean, I've been talking with some new people, um, but it is actually harder than I thought it would be. Um, I was just actually chatting with my friend Alexa about this. Um, I don't know. You kind of you think, oh yeah, I'll just be able to you know go up to someone, and then we'll spend the rest of the day together or something. But um, I don't think it's that easy. Yeah, so I've been making an effort to just go up and say hi. So if I pass somebody, I just go, oh, hi. And if somebody else is just standing there, I might go up and say, hi, you know, are you here as an undergraduate or are you just starting? What are you studying? I'm making an effort to make conversation. So I've met maybe 10 to 12 people through doing that. Um, and that's been really lovely. Then three people have actually recognized me so uh which is really weird um it's always very surreal when somebody recognizes you um so they've come up and said hi and i've got their numbers and things which is really nice now i don't know though it's just i think it's harder than you almost expect for it to be that's my point but there's nothing wrong with finding it hard that's what i want you to know because well everyone's in the same boat at the moment and if you are starting university next year, uh, or if you're starting university in the next couple of weeks, then just keep that in mind that everyone's in the same boat, everyone's trying to make friends, so very few people actually know each other, so just make an effort to go up to people and say hi. Also, do you like my lanyard? Look, I've got a nice star lanyard, which I got for Christmas a couple of years ago, and I've just got my key on the end of this. I actually really like this lanyard, and my dress is new too, so if you're wondering, this dress is from Abercrombie. I got it in the sale for £14, but it was down from 56 I think, um, which is really good. Honestly, I never buy from Abercrombie, just normal Abercrombie. I always go to the sale section. Oh, also, look at this. Here are my oats. Um, 
I love the way that this looks. There's something really lovely about the texture of oats. But whilst I'm waiting, because I've got a quarter of an hour, so well, 10 minutes until I'll head down, I'm just gonna get a piece of paper up and I'm gonna make an itinerary for tomorrow because I want to know where I am with all the fresh activities because there are quite a few and I don't want to miss anything. So I'm going to use this journal, which my friend Molly got for me, and it's got a timetable section, so I'm going to put that in, but it also I'm going to just write it in a notebook. Um, I'm going to use this one, which I got from Dan Elm. So it's currently nearly one in the morning and I'm just sitting in bed and reading. I'm currently reading Oranges Are Not The Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson. I got back at around 12-ish. I've just been pottering around my room and getting some stuff done. I should have gone to bed as soon as I got in, but I didn't. I've been reading for a bit too. Um, this book is just so good. So basically at eight, I went down to play some cards with some friends and then we went on to just kind of we just went and sat down somewhere and just basically chatted and met, met some more people it was really lovely now i'm very tired and i've got my schedule all written up tomorrow um but thank you for watching my second university vlog i hope that you enjoyed it and have a productive